Welcome back, everyone. It's another episode of Preda's World. Uh, Preda here. So we're going to do a review of the custom uh, saber tooth statue. Uh, we're going to put him together, take a look at him, give him a review, uh, and we'll do that right after this. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start just putting him together. Uh, he's got a few swap outs, uh, two different sets of hands, uh, and four heads that we're going to go through. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and start putting the hands on. So the first set of hands, as you can see here, uh, are fingerless gloves. It's a pretty cool touch. I like it. So the claws on them are pretty amazing. All right, let's go ahead and put the other ones on. I'm probably going to leave them with the gloves, uh, with the fingers on. Uh, not as much of a fan as the fingerless gloves. Magnets are really strong on these too, so it's really nice. No fear of those falling off. Uh, again, the, the claws are really cool on these. Um, I'm a fan of not showing a ton of skin anyway on these characters, uh, so it's actually kind of nice. Alright, so those are the ones with the full gloves. Let's start going through the, the heads on it. Like I said, there's four different heads on here. Um, I love the, what they did with the teeth as far as the, uh, the kind of gloss they put on them. I mean, they look like real enamel. It's crazy. I mean, they look like real teeth there. So this one's the long-haired version. And he's kind of gritting his teeth. Trying to look menacing. Yep, so that is the, the first head. Let's go ahead and put another one on. We'll do the battle damage head next. He's got his mouth open, blood. It's a really nice head. Looks like Wolverine might have got a hold of it. The only thing I might have changed on this one is just to add a little drool or something, a little blood dripping down from his mouth. Because uh, his, his mouth, inside his mouth, like his tongue, is really glossy. But very cool. And then here's another one without the battle damage. Pretty much the same portrait, just no battle damage, no blood. Again, it's still, it's a really cool portrait. I love all these portraits on these. Alright, and the last one, which is probably my favorite one, and it's probably the one I'll, I'll display it with. And it's mainly because I love my villains to have a grin. So he's just got a big grin on his face. Again, this is a short-haired version. There's only one long-haired version, but I like the short hair better. I feel like it depicts uh, Sabretooth a lot more. All right, so that is all the swap outs that we have for this one. So let's go ahead, before we get into the, the design and the paint and the sculpt, uh, kind of give him a measurement here. And I don't know if you guys can see it from there, but he's roughly about 22 inches tall. Uh, the depth, oh, about 13 inches. I round up, just in case. Uh, and then his width, uh, it's pretty much the rocks on the base, so we're looking at about 16 inches. So not, not a big footprint, which is good. 
uh, you know, you can squeeze more statues in if you uh, have a less footprint. But uh, not that I'm one to complain about big bases. I, I like big bases, so <laughs> as long as it tells a story, uh, right? Uh, so yeah, so we'll kind of go over the sculpt here, and then I'll kind of do a comparison to Wolverine over here as far as size and stuff goes. Um, so the design, uh, it's, it's a pretty common design uh, as far as using the base and kind of out in the wilderness and the snow. Uh, so it, it's, it's definitely not a new concept, uh, but they did a great job with this one. The sculpt on the rocks and the trees. Uh, all uh, the sculpt is is really nice, uh, and then the the sculpt for Sabretooth, uh, it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, just the anatomy and the muscles tone that they have in it, uh, it it's really spot on. And then they sculpted in texture on the legs on the front or the majority of the leg, but on the back it's a smooth surface. So it's like, you know, there's two different materials there. They sculpted in stitching here on the legs, actually all the way around the brown. Um, they put sculpted in stitches in there, which looks amazing. It makes it look like it's real leather. Uh, and then they got that uh, black stripe here that kind of combines those two different materials, the two different textures. But just the muscle tone on his back and how they did that, it looks fantastic. And then even the texture on these spikes, I guess you would call them. But yeah, his gloves look leather. All the brown pretty much looks leather. It's really good. Uh, the head sculpts, uh, the hair, I, I like the way they did it. It looks really good uh, for, you know, for sculpted hair. Uh, even his uh, mutton chops here. And then the mane that he has on the back, it, it looks great. I think it sticks up further because he's leaning forward. He's kind of leaning with his back up. Uh, but it looks, I, I like it. It looks good. All right, and then just his abs and his pecs and uh, his trapezoids. I mean, just the, the detail they got into the anatomy and the muscles uh, is fantastic. Excellent sculpt. All right, uh, so paint. Uh, we'll go through the paint. Uh, for the most part, it's it's good. Uh, so the the base we'll start with. So the paint on the rocks and stuff, it, it looks good. Uh, it's a little glossy, uh, more than what I would like to see. Um, but what I do like is that they've got it glossy. You know, a lot more glossy here. So it looks like maybe it had melted and frozen over right here. Uh, the snow, so that was kind of cool. They put that in there because it's just in that area. The tree looks amazing. I like it. It's pretty worn down. And, uh, the only thing I would say is the roots on the back. They're a little too shiny. Um, so I would have dulled them up a little bit. Maybe with, you know, done like a dry brush or something on them. Uh, I do like the metal part that they have on the bottom of the base here. They took the front, it's smaller in the front, and they kind of raise it in the back. Uh, I like that. It's, it's, it's a pretty good idea. Uh, the paint on Sabretooth uh, is really good. I, I love it a lot. I love the colors that they used. Uh, I like how dark they put it into in the muscles, uh, in all the crevices. Uh, and the brown, the paint on the brown is fantastic too. They did the same thing, right? You, you do a darker tone in the crevices of the muscles. And even the creases like in the hand and stuff. The paint on the heads, fantastic. The skin tones. Uh, the only thing I would say is maybe the mutton chops are maybe a little bit different color than the hair. Um, but it's slight, so you wouldn't really notice it unless you're really close to it. So that is Sabretooth. Uh, so, I mean, overall, they did a fantastic job on this, right? 
Uh, I would say comparing it to the, I've seen the, the three sideshow ones, two of them in person. The first one they did, I hated because it was the material they used for the costume. Um, and I don't like that. If you've watched any of my videos and they've had that, uh, you know I don't like it. Um, but uh, the, the next one they did had a real orange tint to his suit, which I didn't like at all either. Uh, and the new one, I, as soon as I saw it, I didn't like it. He looks kind of fat, essentially. I mean, his, his waist looks really big. It looks so out of proportion. Uh, so I would say this is probably the best one out right now. Uh, I know XM has theirs coming out too. Uh, and it, it does look good, but I still think that this one's probably going to end up looking better. Um, but I will hold judgment until, you know, I get it in hand. and uh, We can do another review on that one, kind of compare the two at that point. All right, so uh, I'm going to show you my favorite comic book uh, for this character. Uh, so I got this slab. Uh, it's been a few years now. It's only a 9-2, unfortunately. Um, I need to get a better one, uh, but it's Uncanny X-Men 213, and it's basically a Wolverine and Sabretooth fight. Uh, so kind of the comparison with the Wolverine I have from Sideshow, uh, Sabretooth looks humongous compared to him. Uh, he really does, but uh, Sabretooth in the comics is supposed to be 6'6", six six, uh, and Wolverine's only supposed to be 5'3", so I mean it's, it's pretty close to being accurate. Um, I do have a Wolverine Art Adams coming for another custom uh, once that's done, but it is actually, I think, three and a half to one scale instead of this one's a quarter scale, four to one. Um, so he'll probably look a little big, uh, but it's a fantastic sculpt, so I'm, I can't wait for that one to come in. Uh, but yeah, so I, again, I, I think, you know, at least a nine out of ten. Um, I, I don't think I'll ever need another saber tooth because I, I really like this one. They did a fantastic job. So again, everyone, uh, if you want to see my reviews, uh, click on that subscribe, click on the bell if you want to get notified when I upload new videos. Uh, I, I seem to be putting them out at least once a week or so, so uh, you should see a lot more stuff coming out from me. Um, so thanks for coming and watching.